Hello and welcome to another presentation video of my Infinite Voxel engine. In this video I'll talk about building a chair, showing something you see already in the screen, showing you the item editor, showing you loading and saving, showing you the agent names, and showing you something else you already see on the scene. Well, what are those things you'll see on the scene already? I want to talk about it. First of all, it's the shoreline. We do have a nice shoreline here. And the next thing you'll see, which is new, is we have shadows. Well, that looks like a small change, but in the end, um, the changes made to the engine was quite significant because I had to rework the whole engine in order to make that happen. Um, to do that, the whole engine is currently now more like a more managed rendering pipeline or engine. And this was an important step for the future because it will make adding new, new things and stuff to render much easier than it was before. So hopefully this will bring some nice and interesting features in the future. Well, and I think I normally don't show it enough that this engine is actually slice able. So I can slice up and down through uh, mostly all the whole world in real time. So I just can dig every I want to be. And you see some black stuff. This is just a bug from the current changes of the render engine. Normally, it will just render pretty fine without any issues at all. But currently, yeah, we do have some bugs. I will fix them. No problem for that. So, the next thing I promise to talk about in this video is building a chair. So, in order to build a chair, we do need several stuff. First of all, we would need some wood. So, let's go ahead, chop up a tree to get some wood. The thing will soon soon go there and building uh, no not building chopping the tree so the tree is not the tree is not chopped and we do have some wood to have some assets to build we do have some assets which is one is a chair and we do have a desk and in order to build those we would need some stone or workshop to actually do that at the moment that's a carpenter but i think in the future of this engine we will not have uh, several rooms for mainly the same uh, sort of work which is a build to something and so we do have just a workshop this is a zone just a workshop and in the future you would need to place several desks or workstations inside that workshop which do several tasks for example working with wood working with stone or something else so for now we don't have any workstations we just have this, the zone itself and the agent or the thingy will just pick up the wood build somewhere in the zone the item which is desired. So in order to give him an item which is desired, I order him to build a chair. So when I place that chair, the thing is actually going over, picking up the wood, building a chair, bringing the chair over there. So let's do this. Here he comes. He's going over there, taking, picking up some wood, building the chair, bring it over, placing it here. And we could just place another chair and now he place brings another one and hopefully the rotation is going right. No, it doesn't work. There's a bug. Okay, well, so we can't build anything else at the moment because I just encountered the bug. I didn't encounter before I made this video. So you see the bug live in this video, but you get the point. So building up those assets and those stuff will work exactly that way. And I will have up build queues where you can define, okay, I always want to have 10 pieces of chairs in my stockpiles. This will be able as well, but for the moment it's just building single items like a chair or a desk. So how do you make this chair and this desk? And this is the next part I want to show, which is the item editor. I can just jump over to the item editor, which is this, and I could just load up an item, which is basically some sort of shelf. Maybe, or maybe not. The next thing I can actually just go over and build something more like making a um, making a cupboard out of this just so like this so we do now have a cupboard or a grill or whatever whatever you can imagine and the, the, the red stuff you actually see is placeholder for wood so what you actually do is you define an item by being it made out of wood stone iron whatever and whatever type of wood or type of stone or type of, of metal is available or you issue to order this item will get built out of that sort of wood. So it will look different depending on what wood you use in order to uh, produce that item in the game. 
But that's future music now. Um, it's just prepared to be so, and hopefully everything will work right. The next thing I told you to show you this time is actually something pretty cool. And I'm not sure if I've talked about it in a previous video. It is actually loading and saving. Because of the changes uh, over the several last weeks or months, um, the primary or the first loading and saving system was pretty much outdated and broken and didn't work anyway. So I decided to make it from ground up new and <clears throat> I finished this and actually can now load whole words like this with the click of a button. Isn't that cool? So we just loaded the scene. I think this is pretty equal to the last video I did. And what we can do in this in this um, scene, which we didn't do last time, I guess, um, we can just give phones, give, yeah, just make a pool. Why not make a pool? We just dig a canal. We just dig over here and then we just dig a canal over here come on oh no i didn't want it to be that big but well let's be it like this way so yeah we dig the way some zone thing this this is weird yeah this could be some this could lead to a bug now yeah this will be this could be pretty odd i guess anyway let's see if this works uh, we do have a pool and our pool is now filling up with water in real time and the thing is still trying to carry some of the resources over there but many of them are actually too deep in the water and not retail for them anymore mm. so well this was uh, something new from me and oh another thing i didn't show you which is a thing is can actually have names for example we do have a michael over here and we do have a marcus over here and we do have a Carlton over here. So all of them do have names and those names came from a file. So you will be able to adapt some names from your location or whatever you want to be. So you can actually imagine your own names and put them in the game later on. <coughs> anyway, bringing us to names. This is something I really need pretty soon. And as this turns out to be not more longer really not only an engine, but a game, then that means we need a name. We need a name for that game. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I can't imagine two, two cool things. So I think if it's just on me, it will be just an odd name, something boring and nobody will like it. So maybe you have an idea about what that game should be named. Oh no, what the name of that game should be. And maybe give me a hint or give me a, um, something of an idea. So yeah, that's for now. Hopefully you liked what you see and you enjoyed all the new changes and you have some sort of idea what that game can be in the future and hopefully it's something you would enjoy. So this game will be something where you really can build everything you want, can build your kingdom like you want it and don't be any sort of low on room because you, as, as you can see, the terrain building up is pretty slow still, but not terribly slow. It's just just a little bit slow. And yeah, there's plenty of room. Actually, there's there's no no end of it. This is really really big terrain, and you can just build really great structures. And I did stress test this with 300 thingies, and there is some slowdown in pathfinding and all the stuff. This is something which needs to be fixed in the future, but yeah, you got the idea what the game will be and hopefully I can do it in during my lifetime or something. <laughs> so hopefully you have a great day and you have a great night and see you next time. Bye.